Right then, ladies and gents, uh, the last time I mentioned I was moving house. So this is the, uh, this is the big reveal of the new studio. So, bear with. Bam. 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 And. Bam. Bam. Right, ladies and gents, welcome to the new garage. So, uh, yeah, I'm about to shoot out for a quick ride after work on, on my bike, but it's like one degree outside, so really chilly. And I thought I'd give you an idea of the Sirocco gear that I'll be wearing out there because they're a channel supporter, kind of help out what I do around here. So this is their J1 cycle jacket. Love this thing, super warm and cozy and really comfortable when you're out on the bike as well. Really good zipper, which is a, uh, yeah, Really important, trust me. <laughs> and also, it's showerproof. I've got their winter bibs on too, so these have some windproof panels in the legs and the bum padding is really good, which <laughs> is key for me because both of my saddles are basically, yeah, solid carbon, so there's no, <laughs> no padding. Um, and lastly, these are their new X1 glasses. I've been wearing these for the last month or two and they are wicked. So they got photochromic lenses. So right now when it's dark out, the lenses are completely clear, but they get a really good tint on when it's, um, tint on. <laughs> they get tinted in the sun uh, when, when it's sunny out. Um, they got vents on the top to stop the lenses fogging up and they got a little adjustable nose piece. So yeah, if you did want to get yourself kitted out for some winter cycling, then check out Sirocco using my link down below. It'll save you 10% off your order. They got all sorts of cool gear and it helps me out a little bit as well. Um, anyway, all that aside, let's check out some of these carbon cages. Hello and welcome back, ladies and gents, to another new, new and improved-ish. Uh, Trace, Trace Velo production mining, as always, is uh, yeah. Look, right then, so carbon fiber bottle cages. A lot of you out there are probably thinking, why, why even bother? I mean, how much difference is it really gonna make? Well, a standard aluminum bottle cage, a bit like this one here, and I use this one for years and years, about 60 grams for one of these, two of those on the bike, and that's 120 grams. Now, considering uh, some of the carbon fiber bottle gauges you can, you can pick up these days can weigh as little as six or seven grams. You could look to drop 100 grams from your bike, just like that. Now, you could get your, uh, your carbon cage from a legitimate company, like uh, ZFAL or something like that, but my middle name is uh, Risk Taker. Well, like cheapskate, really. So I obviously went to, to AliExpress. But type in carbon bottle cage into, into AliExpress, and there are literally thousands of listings for these things, and it's difficult to know which ones are going to be decent. Now, I've covered uh, one version of a carbon cage in a previous video up here, um, but over the last year or so, I've gone down a bit of a rabbit hole trying to see if I can find a better version on, on AliExpress and try and drop a few grams along the way. Now, it didn't always work out, and we'll get to that later. But for now, uh, let's start with the, the heaviest of the carbon cages that I've, uh, I've tried, and we'll work our way down to the very lightest. So with that being said, let's go. Right, so uh, worth pointing out quickly, I actually paid for all the carbon cages and things in this video with my own cash. The only sponsored stuff is actually the Sirocco gear, which I uh, showed earlier. So yeah, let's go. Right, so at 21 grams, this is actually the heaviest of the six cages that, that I'll be showing you today. And I picked up two of these on AliExpress for 16 quid, although I've seen them cheaper. And the listing claims 19 grams, but as mentioned, these come in at 21, so uh, come in slightly heavier in my experience. Now, they look pretty nice, and they're, they're, there are no voids in the carbon fiber or anything like that, so, so construction is, is good. And they hold on to a standard water bottle pretty well. Now, when I talk about a standard water bottle, um, it's actually quite an important distinction to make for reasons which will become clear um, shortly. But this is, a, this is a standard water bottle here. This is a pretty handsome looking Sirocco branded bottle. And these guys are a channel supporter, so yeah link in the description. Um, this or um, a bottle like this, a, a, a science in sport water bottle that most of you are a bit more familiar with. 
Both bottles, well, all standard water bottles are 75 millimeters kind of in diameter. And in addition, they have obviously a kind of cut in or an indent about 13 or 14 centimeters up the bottle, which kind of meshes in with the lip that's uh, on, on most bottle cages. And that's obviously to stop the bottle from, from flying out. So that's uh, quite an important bit of, bit of context for this. Um, but that aside, back to the cages. Okay, so this cage holds onto a standard bottle, like this one here. Holds onto it really nicely, actually. It's nice and snug in there. And the lip here on the top of the cage fits in with the indent on the bottle nicely so it doesn't kind of fly out over bumps and stuff. However, this particular style of like floating arm design here where the bottom isn't connected, it has an inherent kind of problem with it, in, in my opinion. Okay, so if you've got the bottle cage on the bike like this and you've got a full bottle of water in there, when you're cycling along over any bumps and kind of irregularities in a road, the water bottle kind of lifts slightly and then ends up kind of rattling along as you're riding. It, it really started to bug me after a few miles, especially if I had both bottle cages on with the uh, bottles kind of rattling around. Yeah, it's just something about this design where the bottom isn't, isn't attached. It, it, it flexes as you're riding along and leads to a really noisy bottle cage. It kind of, kind of cheapens the whole riding experience. I've seen a couple of other ones with a similar design like this on AliExpress, and I'll throw up some, some pictures of those. But yeah, I would avoid ones like this if I were you, because if you're anything like me, the noise will just drive you crazy. Yeah, it's a shame because they're pretty well built and I suspect they'll last, but yeah, I would have, I would avoid these ones. Anyway, let's move on. But before we do, if I could quickly ask you to subscribe and maybe hit the like button while you're down there as well, if you're, if you're enjoying this video, really does help me out a ton. So thank you in advance um, and let's crack on. Right, ladies and gents, I'm, uh, I'm sat here editing. I feel I must apologize for the state of my bicycle in, the, in that clip. I mean, look at that down tube. The mud on there is disgust. It's shameful frankly. So um, yeah, <laughs> please accept my apologies. Hopefully we can all move past this. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. So these are the cages that I covered in a previous video that I, that I mentioned earlier. There are loads of listings for these or, or ones just like it. About 18 grams each. And again, you can usually pick up two of these for less than 20 quid. Originally, I got mine from, from AliExpress and they happen to be branded Bontrager, which you, which you can see there. I'm not sure if they're a legitimate Bontrager product or not. They, they might well be, but either way, this particular design is everywhere with loads of kind of random brand names slapped across it. So um, yeah, take your pick really. But this is a wicked bottle cage. It's lasted me three years and tens of thousands of miles. It holds onto bottles nice and snug. Uh, neither of these of the, of the two cages that I've got in this design have ever broken on me, and I've never lost a bottle whilst out riding with these bottle cages. So yeah, really, really good ones, these ones. Right, next. Right, next up is this Toseek design here, 15 grams a piece. And once again, you can usually pick up two of these for around 20 quid, maybe a little bit less on, on AliExpress. Now I mentioned the diameter of a standard water bottle earlier, basically because these are a little narrow and they don't fit a standard bottle. You can kind of squeeze them in, but they're really difficult to get in and out reliably whilst you're out riding on the bike. And, and you can see here, yeah, they just don't fit properly and they're kind of squashed in there. I mean, it's a shame really, because these are nice and light and I think they look really, really cool. But yeah, unless you're running particularly narrow bottles or for whatever reason you use water bottles like this when you're out riding, you pick up in, in Tesco or whatever, or whatever, because these um those fit in there really nicely actually. So yeah, unless you're using those, once again, it's a bottle cage to avoid, if you ask me. Right, another quick one from uh, from Toseek here. 14 grams for these, so getting getting lighter. And again, about 10 pound each uh, for these on AliExpress. They look nice and they fit uh, a standard water bottle um, pretty nicely, like, like so. But these are, these are disappointing for two reasons. The first is that the bottom lip of the cage here, it's not reinforced. So if I show you this, this cage that I've, that I've just showed you earlier, the bottom lip here, it is got this ridge ridge running along it to reinforce it because this bottom lip is what holds all the weight of uh, of the water bottle but you can see on on here yeah there's no reinforcing so i suspect that over time that corner will get weaker and weaker and will eventually fail the second reason that i don't really like these is that they're not really tall enough so if i put the bottle back in there there's no lip on the on the cage to 
fit that indent on the bottle there so it doesn't really hold it securely. So after a few miles and you've gone over a few bumps, the water bottle starts to kind of work its way out of the cage like that and eventually just falls out basically every time. So yeah, um, these, these cages here, no bueno, that's for sure. So this bottle cage here, only 10 grams. So really, really light. And I've seen a few listings for these or ones like it. And once again, about 10 pounds each for these on AliExpress. And I had <laughs> really high hopes for these cages. The reviews I saw seemed, seemed pretty good. I, I like the design and I really, really wanted these to be a good product so I could shave off those extra few grams, but they just don't fit a standard water bottle like that one there um, they're just too narrow if for whatever reason your water bottles are 72 millimeters in diameter rather than the industry standard 75 uh, then then go for it but i just don't understand why they would even bother making them like this i mean they're, yeah they're just ever so slightly too narrow for a standard bottle when it's on the bike you can just about squeeze a squeeze a bottle in there but in reality they just don't work they, they don't fit they're just too narrow like I said, like why even bother making them like this? They were, <laughs> they were so close to being really, really good. Um, so yeah, I mean, as, as you can tell, this particular bottle cage annoyed me quite a lot. Like it was so close to being good. But anyway, regardless, don't get these cages. Okay, then last up, the lightest bottle cage um, of the lot and certainly the lightest I've ever heard of. Six grams a piece. For these, for these bottle cages here. Um, so yeah, incredibly lightweight. And they're a little bit more pricey, so 20 to 25 quid each um, on AliExpress for these. Now, after I got them, I did a little bit of digging and these appear to be imitating a bottle cage from a company called Carbon Works, but I don't think they've done a particularly good, a good job at copying them because, yeah, these are, these are dreadful. So again, I had really high hopes for these cages, but once they were on the bike, they lasted about a week. So this is a new one here and it, I haven't really used it. And it seems okay when you get it in your hands. Certainly feels more robust than, than it kind of should really considering considering the weight. And it actually holds onto a standard water bottle pretty snugly. So you can see clips in at the top there. Um, and whilst it doesn't hold it quite as tightly as some of the other ones I've shown you today, certainly tight enough for kind of casual day-to-day -day riding. But if I pull it out here, I'm sure you'll be able to see pretty much straight away where this is going to fail. So this one here, this one um, held a full bottle of water for around five to 10 rides and it's failed at the bottom just here on this corner. So this, this tight corner is completely splintered and it's really flexy and it's, it's, it's knackered basically. And bottles just fall straight out now. They just fall straight out of the bottom. So on the Carbon Works bottle cages, this corner is much thicker and reinforced with extra material, which you can see here, presumably to cope with the, with the extra weight of, of the bottle. But on these imitation ones, that extra material isn't present. So they failed pretty much straight away. And I mean, you can see why it's just so spindly just a couple of millimeters thick there. Um, so yeah, really disappointing these ones and they are complete trash. Don't buy those. So essentially of the six carbon cages that I've tried, these ones here, these are the only ones that I would even consider recommending. If this has taught me anything, it's that there are a lot, a lot of crummy designs out there, either too noisy, too narrow for, for whatever reason, or, um, or, or plain just too weak to stand up to the rigors of kind of day-to-day -day use. So yeah, these are easily the best of the bunch. Um, they've lasted me ages, as, as mentioned. And like I said as well, my set happened to be branded Bontrager. Whether or not they're a Bontrager product, I don't actually know. Um, but as mentioned, you can find this particular design under loads of different brand names on, on AliExpress and, and on eBay as well. So if you were gonna pick up um, a, a cheaper carbon cage, this particular design is, is the one I would recommend. However, AliExpress aside, uh, carbon bottle cages from the more mainstream vendors like uh, Sigma Sports have dramatically dropped in price recently. I mean, back when I first reviewed them a couple of years ago, carbon bottle cages from like Chain Reaction Cycles or Wiggle or something like that were still really expensive, like 60 to 80 quid each, something like that. But right now on Sigma Sports, you can pick up a decent carbon bottle cage from like 20 quid maybe a little bit less. You won't have to wait like three months for, for delivery. You can generally trust the reviews on those websites a lot more than you can 
AliExpress should be using, in my opinion, anyway. Um, and most importantly, you get a full warranty and a kind of no quibble returns policy if you do run into any issues while they're on the bike. So at least with regards to kind of carbon bottle cages, the, the sort of value proposition that drives me to recommend you guys shop on AliExpress, that has definitely been eroded somewhat over the last year or so. Now, one last thing to, uh, to quickly point out, if you still decide you wanna go down the slightly cheaper AliExpress route, um, then the finishing of the carbon on some of these cages, can, it can be a little bit hit and miss. For example, this, this cage here, um, although too narrow and arguably com <laughs> completely useless, the finishing of the carbon is actually really nice. It's, um, it's, it's, it's nice and smooth. But this one here, I think it was called the Elita one. I got two of these and both of these, when I, when I got them out of the box, felt really rough to the touch, almost like a kind of a sandpapery type feel. So you can actually see in this picture that after I'd pulled, pulled it in and out a few times, the, the cage had completely scuffed up the outside of a brand new water bottle. So yeah, a little, a little bit annoying really. So with a couple of the carbon cages that I picked up from AliExpress, I actually ended up wet sanding the internal finish with 320 and then 500 grit sandpaper, which you can see in this little video. Just helped smooth it out and, and stop them ruin it, ruining my, my water bottles. I get the feeling that if you bought the slightly more expensive ones from Sigma Sports, you probably wouldn't face this issue. Anyway, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, bit of an interesting episode, I think. Um, just goes to show AliExpress isn't always the best option, which coming from me, I think is, um, I think that's saying something. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's it. So subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this um, little video that I've made. And if you've got any questions or any comments about carbon bottle cages, or, or maybe you've got a question about my garage, or maybe not, whatever you want really, um, then yeah, leave me a comment down below and I'll try and get back to as many of you as I can. Right, well, that's it. So um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all in the next episode. See you later. Ciao, ciao.